it's caught in the crossfire. It's caught in the milligram menthol. Menthol, by the way. This is amazing. CBD cigarette, wow. and it's full hemp, and um, oh it's kind of like relaxing and chilling to um. How can I put it? Chilling and relaxing to. I don't know. It's 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 almost like out of hand how relaxed you, you feel. How I feel about this? Hmm. I feel like this is the best weed I've ever had, but it's not weed. It's CBD and it's totally legal. In all 50 states. All 50 states. You can smoke this shit like it's a cigarette. You can smoke it, eat it, drink it. I, I, she said, do you want to make the switch? I'm like, Shannon, that's a pretty expensive freaking habit. So I'm going to still smoke my cigarettes, but these things, get these, man. If you can find hand these, I want to invest in this company. Yeah. That's awesome. So I have some news for you guys. Huh. Do you want to say it? I'll let you say it. There you go, you can say it. You're talking about your case? Yeah, go ahead. The district attorney said that my wife was unlawfully arrested. Really, is that so? Since when did domestic violence become unlawful or legal? You got arrested for hitting your boyfriend with a whip, asshole. That's what you need Wait, to Wait, can you repeat that? Who said that? The district attorney. The prosecuting attorney said my wife was unlawfully arrested. Oh, what I wouldn't give to be able to view the footage of that court case because I would love to hear that be said. Such Which lies. Which means I was too. There you go. Which means the devil's plan has been foiled completely. So, uh. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. The wind. Oh, my gosh. The wind is so bad here, dude. Oh my gosh! It's like God's trying to blow us off the. Hey, you want to see some pretty mountains? <laughs> no, I'll just see, we'll see if it can be the background. I don't know. I don't know. Let me. Can I flip the camera? I can flip the camera. Let's go see the pretty mountains, guys. <laughs> just surrounded by all the pretty mountains. Absolutely. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> 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 when the devil can't win but tries. This video is a couple of years old, but uh, I'm pretty sure the devil did win <laughs> because um, your future, you don't know it at this very moment, is looking very bleak. Sorry. Glad to see you're having fun. I am. We're going to have boss fun today. We're going to have boss celebratory shit going on today. He better be there. I got a $20 bill for him. Where are you, Vinny? Is Vinny here? No, I haven't seen him in a while. Is he okay? I don't know. I, I hope he's okay. Yeah, I hope he's okay too. I, I love Vinny. I do too. Oh no! I was gonna give him a 20! Hey! You can't do it when you're on this side. I know. I know, babe. You just can't do it. It's not safe. No. Yeah. I have an eye appointment tomorrow because of this. Oh. Don't know what that is. I think it's a burn. I'm not sure. Yeah, they're gonna get the eye drop. I'd be all. I'm pretty sure it's not a burn. I'm pretty sure you'd remember burning your eyeball. It's called hygiene and you lack it. So it's not a surprise that you would get a raging eye infection. It looks like pink eye to me. So <laughs> we all know how you get Obviously that. I thought it was a burn. Yeah, it looks like a burn. Uh, Severe irritation. The ground hockeys are out. Hi, babies. Prairie dog. I love you, babies. Oh, there's a, there's a coyote. There's a coyote. Where, 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 where? Ah, right ah, darn, we missed a coyote. There's a coyote right there. There's like packs of them. I know there's packs of coyotes. Maybe the coyotes are just confused and think that you're a big bear that uh, bathes in cat urine. But we'll get there, don't worry. <laughs> there's a reason I said that. <laughs> they kill the little babies. Right? That sucks. I don't like that. Oh, this is a beautiful church coming to actually. Yeah, good doctor. I love Greek Orthodox. I'm totally into that. I do too. I love Greek Orthodox. I love Russian Orthodox too. Ruth. Wretched? Yes. She's Greek. So, we're gonna get, go now, and I'm gonna get myself hella baked on some CBD. Well, as much as you can get baked on CBD, uh, I guess. Yeah, uh, what I'm saying is CBD is better than friggin' marijuana. Yeah, I, I'm gonna relax. Yeah. I'm gonna rest my eyeball, because this is just awful looking. And, um, yeah, I'll see you on the flip side. Probably play GTA, like I was yesterday, but some shit went down and I had to deal with it. So. Uh, look at the trees. 
Christ. <laughs> the freaking... The wind blew the metal freaking... I know, it's insane. The metal tables over, over that by the pool. I know. Holy crap. Oh my God, Jesus threw over the table. Look at the tables completely thrown over to the pool. They're metal. Jesus threw Those things are heavy. He overturned the tables. <laughs> Jesus just overturned the tables with the whirlwind because these scumbags threw us out. They didn't technically throw us out yet. What was that you said, Shani? They haven't thrown you out yet? So I guess that conflicts with your, uh, they didn't tell us we were being evicted, we didn't go through the court process, this is all wrong. Really doesn't make any sense now, does it? Should we, cause should we look back at that time? Let's take a look back. Guys, I just got this eviction notice that we gotta be kicked out here in the weekend and we're losing our fucking car and everything all at once. I need fucking help. I don't know what to do. I'm fucking panicking. I'm trying all I can. My fucking phone. It's, they sent me a fucking shitty fucking phone and it's gone. I need fucking help. Someone help me. I work my ass off. Trying to do as much as I can and I sent fucking Krista the $50 back by fucking accident. I need G-Man. Okay, so can someone severely get me hold of G-Man? Because I need him. I need someone. Someone in my life. Because I, I just don't know what to do. You know, I say we just pack up the car what we can. And we just head out to Pennsylvania. There's nothing else we can fucking do. We got no fucking money. We got fucking nothing. We just... Can any of you imagine if tomorrow you were gifted $700,000 and a house and two years later, this is the situation you're in? Would that happen to anyone else or just these idiots? I sell all this fucking shit. But we gotta get out of this house by this weekend. By this weekend. And what, what is it? What day is it? It's Thursday. It says you will be evicted anytime. It says please move this weekend and Turner. It says to Jason All Egroff and all other persons reside and occupied and staying in premises. The Jefferson County office is ordering by Jefferson County Court to enforce a writ of restitution eviction for these premises. This means you must move out immediately, and if you do not vacate, the sheriff's office is required by the court to enter and remove all your possessions. Please be aware that the sheriff's office has no legal responsibility to pack your items and removal. So, I need fucking help. Here, you hold it. I'm fucking panicking. Okay? I'm fucking panicking! This is proof. This is proof right here. Okay? That the Democratic Party has done nothing to help anyone. The government has done nothing to help anyone. I'm gonna have a fucking heart attack. Listen, baby carrot. Um... The Democratic Party and the government have nothing to do with this. When you rent and make a rental agreement with a place to live in and you do not pay the rent, you get evicted. This was not your first notice. You guys knew this was coming. You just chose to ignore it. Like you chose to ignore everything else. Like you chose to ignore your children, which you lost. These are the consequences of not adulting. So you two need to get it together because this isn't anyone's fault but your own and you don't get to go to court just because you're being evicted you should have paid period the end they don't owe you shit there was some I'm gonna have a fucking heart attack I'm gonna have a fucking heart attack I'm gonna have a fucking heart attack I spent all this money for this shit that we don't need the fucking Shani, please do us all a favor and put those tatas away before they take someone's eye. Rev's gonna have a black eye from across the room with those puppies. Put them away. We don't need to see that. The fucking cable, the fucking electricity. I paid all that money and we don't even, we, we can't even use it. So you paid the cable and the electricity so you could keep gaming and you can keep going live and e-bagging.
that's why you paid those bills and not the ones that would have kept a roof over your head and your children's head, but that's not as important to you. See, Shani, when you are an adult, you have to pay all of the bills, not just pick and choose which ones you want to pay. It doesn't work like that. I knew this coming for a week. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. This was just showed up on my door. I didn't even go to court. That was one of several notices on your door because there's a stream where you're playing video games and you pick up a piece of paper that looks very similar to that where they're warning you they are getting close to evicting you. You knew this was coming because Rev just said these scumbags are kicking us out and that was on the Kratom Day, which we'll get back to that video. I just wanted to insert this so you could see how pathetic these people are and how this really went down if you didn't already know. I didn't even go to fucking court. There was no court. They just did it. So these two grifters thought that they would have to go through a whole court process in order for this place to be able to throw them out. No, it doesn't work like that. Um, I've rented many apartments in my life, and if you don't pay, they kick you out. And if you don't leave, the sheriff comes and takes all your shit and puts it outside. There does not need to be a court hearing for you to be evicted. But that's what you were hoping for, so you could spend more time living rent-free in this condo or whatever townhouse. You don't get to go to court and just drag it out. You get out now. They were supposed to go through the eviction process, and they didn't! I need G-Man, someone get a hold of G-Man now! Well, technically... Oh yeah, we also got some Kratom, so... Kratom. We'll see how Kratom works. Yeah, anyway. Bye guys. I'm, uh, I'm gonna bring my boys some Taco Bell. That's right. And get high on CBD. They love Taco Bell. Remember, if you ever find these, get them and try them. They are amazing. They are. Oh, and, and, and the CBD drinks. They, these. These are also freaking amazing. Anyway. I'm gonna be chill as a butterfly soon. What are you doing today? I've already done all my errands. So your daily errands were going to mandated court and then going and buying Kratom and CBD and that's it for you for today? Shocking. I'm so shocked. Now this red eyeball will go away and probably play GTA 5. 4. 4. We're still on Ecobellic. Later guys. <laughs> so when we were getting our CBD products, we decided to go and try Kratom. I took Kratom a few years ago to see how it would work in my body. And I took it with spice and I tripped out. That was bad. And that's the last time I took Kratom. But, um, oh my God. Oh my God. My brain is messed up. That's it. But what is his name? Fuck Josh. What is Josh's name? No, don't even say that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Don't say that. That's, that's anyway, me and Jason took some Kratom. Yeah. And um, it's basically an opiate alternative. Um, it's really good for pain and relaxation and anxiety and, and like crap like that. And it's legal within all 50 states, Kratom. So you don't have to worry about it being illegal. It's completely legal. And um, it really, it, I, I feel really good. How do you feel good? How do you feel, honey? I feel good, good. I, I've been, I, I feel really good. It really goes, it goes straight to your head. What I'm feeling from the Kratom, it's going straight to my head. It's like, whoa. Um, I, I can, I can see how it's very opiate-like. Yeah. Um, it's not a bad thing. No. Kind of makes me a little hyper, to tell you the truth. Hyper. Does Kratom make you hyper? A little bit. It, it does, man. It's a chill. Oh, no. I, I feel really... Hey, Siri. Ask ask what are the, the side effects of Kratom. I'm, like, really, like, really uh -huh. hyper. The fact that there were children in this house while these two dingbats are getting high on anything they can get their fucking hands on, I find that so irresponsible and so disappointing as a parent myself like what the fuck are you thinking could you imagine being all fucked up in your room while your kids are off doing god only knows what because you don't pay any attention to them i would never i feel like i've taken some speed or something hey siri what are the side effects of kratom kratom mayo clinic says it's unsafe and ineffective mayo clinic said it's unsafe now that's why a lot of people take it and ineffective i feel the effects of it i haven't taken anything but cbd this is not cbd yeah yeah fuck what the mayo clinic says the mayo clinic fuck that they don't know what the hell they're talking about shani does though she knows all about it all right every day what oh look at the risks of possible side effects of taking 
<laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing funny about this asshole. Yeah, what are they? Exactly? Nothing funny about it at all. Why? Yeah, but what are the what is, what does it cause you to happen? How is it consumed? Considered risky or controversial? What's about kratom risk process? The American Kratom Association, a kratom industry group, cautions that kratom use might not be safe for pregnant women and children. Oh, well, I'm not pregnant and I'm not a child. Here's what you need to know about kratom side effects: how to keep yourself safe. Short-term side effects related. Scientists say the effects of kratom may vary by dose, with small amounts of kratom, one to five grams of raw leaves, causing stimulant effects. We took three grams. Stimulant. Stimulant. So that's why I feel like I'm like. Feel like I'm on speed. Exactly. So it's a stimulant. Yeah. That actually might not be a bad thing for me. But I like, need a stimulant. Listen, <clears throat> oh. Small amounts, one to five, causing stimulant effects, and higher doses of kratom, five to fifteen grams, causing causing pain relieving sedative effects, similar to those of prescription opioids, according to an article published in 2015. Well, we only took three grams. Right. So two more grams. Take oh. four more, and then I would feel like I'm on a bender or something. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Short term side effects: nausea, itching, sweating may include. Nausea, itching, sweating, dry mouth, constipation, diarrhea, increased urination, loss of appetite, feeling of agitation, irritability, or uneasiness, drowsiness, abdom abnormally fast heartbeat, feeling like your heart is racing. Uh-oh, it causes irritability, Rev. You better run before you before Shannon gets slappy on you. No, it doesn't feel like that. Me neither. Lots of muscle coordination in the arms or legs, hallucinations, seizures. Hallucinations? Fucking sweet. Seizures, I have them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I see you get triggered, see? <laughs> Seizures. I get them anyway. <laughs> I just had one. Let's see. I don't know what I, the feelings I get, but when my neck does that, I think it's a seizure. I'm not sure. Liver damage. Oh. So you don't. You just don't want to do it too too much. No. I. My God, this is fucking amazing. But like, we're you just, know what this feels like to me? What? Almost. What? I'm gonna take two more or doing, four more. Doing DXM. DXM. What is DXM? It's the active ingredient in Robitussin DM. Oh, so you feel like you're robo robo tripping? Robo -tripping. A little bit. I just want to get. I, I mean, today we're we're. We are playing with Kratom? We're playing with it. I don't want any more. I feel great. No, no. I'm just... I, I want to get the full of pain relief effect. Oh, okay. Go ahead. I feel like I'm on a... I feel right now, folks. I feel like I'm on a fucking cloud. Look at how they look. It's fucking incredible. It's a regular pill. I feel like a god. <laughs> We're dry leaf in them. Yeah. But, let's see how it is for pain effect. I mean, it, right now it's doing... I also... <laughs> by the way, guys. I also... Because we had some time to kill before I saw my PO officer. Wow. It's, it was everywhere. And... Yeah. When you hear the DA mm -hmm. out of your mouth defending you. Mm -hmm. You're in a pretty good spot. Yeah. I think so. And all those devils that tried to take us down in the line, our character is now egg on face. Oh, I guess we were wrong about them. And not only that, we know exactly who the two people are that put them out. Oh, so man. We know, we know who it is now. The look on my, P, uh, my PO officer's oh, face. Oh, my gosh. She couldn't believe it. She was in shock when she saw this. Yeah, she couldn't believe it. So now... I'm in a good place in life, and we are celebrating with some kratom Hallelujah. and 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 <laughs> some kratom and some CBD. <laughs> CBD and kratom. You don't need weed. You don't need marijuana. You don't, you don't need weed. <laughs> no, you don't need oh, marijuana. That sounds so musical. Hey. If you need to get cannabinoids into your system, which I suggest everyone should should introduce. They're meant to be there. Uh, yeah, I, I suggest everyone to try to regularly put CBD in your diet. Oh, uh, hemp. Hemp is the shit, bro. Mm. I haven't tried this one. Why do you think George Washington planted hemp? George Washington planted hemp and Lincoln smoked it and admitted he, there's nothing greater in the world than reading, than reading the Bible and sitting down with a pot full of hemp. Oh my God, how awesome is that? Yeah, I know, Lincoln was a fucking stoner, man. Just like, he had the fucking beard. He had the stoner beard, dude. And his eyes, dude, total he stoners. With that beard. No, I know, man. Flip. <laughs> you know that. He was standing on freaking soapboxes, preaching high off a kite, just telling how great America be. Hey, man, America's going to be great, man. Oh, my God. America is great. Man, we're going to send this thing called, like, slavery, man. Because those black men over there, they didn't deserve that shit, man. That's right, right. We're going we're gonna to free them motherfuckers, man. You and, and you know what? The motherfuckers grow the greatest weed. Did you oh, man. Hey, Shannon. <laughs> hey, Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> Question. Yes. Sorry. What? I can't remember what I was going to ask you. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> I can't. Sorry. That's okay, dear. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, my God. It was a good question. Fuck this. I'm taking off my bra. Oh, you're at the show, folks. No, they ain't seeing shit. <laughs>
<laughs> they just hear me taking off my bra. Oh, they'll see the shadows. That's enough. <laughs> you should charge for this shit. Go on my Patreon. I'll show you me taking off my bra. No, here. Here's the fucking facts, folks. If you want to see... It's free. The girls are free. Here, Jason. Oh, you always put it on my fucking head like a cap. You know? <laughs> that was a... This is a vision that I will never get tired of viewing. Look at this, folks. Look at the state of this man. When you can wear one part of my bra as a hat. That's a pretty good indication that your woman is pretty well endowed when it comes to chesticles. <laughs> 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 Look how cool his computer is from the back. Oh, dude. I have it on the rainbow unicorn setting right now. <laughs> I can put it on the choker if you want, folks. <laughs> <laughs> you look lovely, dear. <laughs> I love your bra. It smells like a woman. Oh, the girls are free. This smells like a woman. <laughs> folks, it smells like a woman. It doesn't smell like anything. It smells like your nip-nips. <laughs> it doesn't smell like anything. Is it pheromones that you're smelling? I think so. It's Because I don't smell anything. It smells sort of like cat piss mixed with... A spice. <laughs> I'm crying. I'm crying. Could you? This is the face of a woman who is live streaming, having the time of her life, and her husband says <laughs> that her bra smells like cat piss and spices. <laughs> if that were me, just bury me in the backyard. She put me down like old old yeller. Take me out. I am done. If my bra smells like cat piss to the person I'm with, I am jumping off a building. <laughs> but obviously how he uh, views it, I take his word for it. I believe it. But let's see how Jenny gets herself out of this one. <laughs> Does it smell like cat piss? No, I, what I'm smelling up here, it's a pheromone, I think it is. Cat piss? Do you know what cat piss smells like? It smells no, like ammonia. That's not the right. Sorry. <laughs> Do you know what cat piss it's smells not like? Cat piss. <laughs> Your bra smells like cat piss. No, 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 it's not. Jesus, that, that is not so. No. This is a cute freaking bra. Look at this little adormy. Like, obviously, offended Jenny is gonna change the subject like she always does when this kind of shit happens. But I believe Rev was telling the truth and just backpedaled sash on the side of it i have a sophisticated oh, like always shop <laughs> like i'm telling you ladies if you really want a good good bras and panties go to a dormy and open up yourself a subscription box they got some great freaking bras and underwear and 90s and 90s. this actually what i'm wearing actually is an a dormy <laughs> actually oh. i tried it a few times and it gave me diarrhea is that kratom making you laugh yes oh this stuff is awesome it is kratom this stuff is fucking holy shit i heard about this stuff from a couple of my friends and I thought to myself, that sounds like a boring thing. And then I asked you about it. You said it was horrible. You got, well, no, you, it had no effect. That's what you said. You yeah. took it and there was nothing, right? Well, I was doing spice at that time. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, that's... Duh. Fucking meth head. <laughs> I am not a meth head. You said to me today, it's basically meth. But no, I'm like, it's a lot of chemicals like meth. It's not meth. It's it's, it's it's spice. It's, it's, it's... Or K2. Whatever you want to... Can you tell me something, please? What? Yes, Zach. Hello, buddy. What's up? I kind of want this because I love Dragon Ball. So oh much. my God! What? Two thousand crystals? Is that what you want? You can get it because you're a good boy, and I love you. I, know, I, I, I need to figure out how to use it. I, I may have done too much, and my body may need to adjust. You seem like I you're having a fun time. Stream, okay, buddy? Well, I actually looked it up, and that was Zachary, the one that was kicked in the head and the stomach by Rev. Um, asking to buy some coins for a video game because that's all these kids were ever exposed to his video games and he's excited about it and he's talking about it and rev says hey we're filming buddy as in get out which is not new for them but i just heard it for the first time and it really angers me but then i remember that those kids are in a fabulous home now and don't have to deal with these two high losers anymore Thank you. I love they recommend for a beginner dose one and a half grams to three grams i took I took three grams at start. I, I took another two grams just a couple minutes ago because I want to get the um, sedative, like, um, opiate-like effects that Kratom apparently has. I want to get out of pain. You're not in pain. You're just a druggie. That's, you're just a drug-seeking loser. That's what you are. Get some fucking help. That is your problem with drugs. Jesus Christ. What the fuck is with Amazon taking off Doctor Who? Last. 
I know, that's bullshit. Like, why would you take off Doctor fuck Who on you. Amazon? That's what CeeLo Green says to them for that. Fuck you, and fuck you too, and... <laughs> I love that fucking song. I could listen to that. I love, I like Lily Allen's. No, CeeLo is the fucking shit, man. I like, like, CeeLo is like an angel. And this one, this was the least of their problems, that their man, show wasn't Satan on Amazon really got bitch at this time. Isn't that today? fucking funny? <laughs> He really did. That's why the Roman's gone today, Shan. Get it. I know. The lawyer was so giddy when he was like, I, <laughs> He was. So the DA said it was a false arrest. That's exactly how his face was. <laughs> He's like, you know you're going to be ripped, right? That's pretty much what he was saying. <gasps> Oh my god, the delusions of grandeur. They literally think that they're going to be rich by suing the Colorado Police Department. Like, Older yeah, Colorado Police. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> that never happened, you <laughs> fucking idiots. You know, it, you know what? It teaches those corrupt bastards to stop being corrupted. That's correct. Stop being corrupt. I want to promote Stop, on stop, your... stop hurting people. <laughs> oh my god, I'm hot. Hey, is baby, this high? Baby, this is a weird high. Baby. I don't know. Is this high? What is this? What is this? It's high. Is it? I don't know. I feel hyper. This is a PSA to anyone as stupid as Shani. If you have to ask if you're high, you're probably very, very high. Dumbass. No, it's that, it's that Coolio song. It, it's oh, my God. <laughs> total, <laughs> this, <laughs> this stuff is like total a total stimulant. Oh. This is very much a stimulant. But it makes you feel like cool, too, though. Yeah, it relaxes you at the same time, but it's also you have energy. <gasps> this is good shit to, to you know, <laughs> probably keep your energy if you're driving across the country. If it gives you this much energy. Oh, shit. You know what? This is a similar feeling to what I felt like when I was on Adderall. Wow, Adderall. I, oh, man. Fucking Sadie. Sadie was, she gave, <laughs> Sadie, before I came to Pennsylvania, she gave me two Adderalls and she's like, that's all you need for this trip. Trust Absolutely. me, girl. It'll keep you up. Yeah. It Sharing controlled substances like Adderall is extremely illegal. And I just wanted everyone to take that into account. That's they really, really legal. But she saved my life. Just go talk know, about it. Legit. Until the prostitution thing happened in the nose. Oh my God, what the fuck is happening here? Oh my God, I go out to talk <laughs> to fucking Polly and there he is with this guy and this girl and this guy has a fucking bra on nope. and the girl's on the bed. He's got glasses and a bra on oh and dancing. God. I open the, I, I knock on the door. He opens it and I'm like, what the fuck? fuck man. What the fuck? Oh, nothing. They're just friends. They're just goofing around. Uh, No. And then a bunch of, at, late at night, a bunch of random girls came into the house that looked like prostitutes. I have a question, man. Okay. What? Can you tell me why Dragnot Silvis is using this picture as a profile picture, please? Probably because he likes how my titties look at I don't give a fuck. That's a picture of my wife. This is boring. Rev goes on about a picture Drag had of, of Shani where he thought it was sexual and how dare he. Rev, you're the biggest cuck on the internet. Shut the fuck up and deal with it. Um... I'm not even going to make you sit through this. I do have pictures of the house. Um, if anyone who's new to this has not seen it, I will add that um, to the end of this. This is just ridiculous and not necessary for you to sit through. So I'm not going to torture you. Okay? They will box until they're fucking hamburger. And that's true! Especially PA Don't get your my fucking wife's picture off your motherfucking stream yard, bitch. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> yeah, oh bitch. Don't you oh, dare oh have that God. picture on your screen, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you are such a dork. <laughs> oh, give me those. I want to show them those. I can't breathe. So while we were in Bed Bath & Beyond, I found the most amazing... These are sheets. This is not a blanket. Plush sheets. They're plush sheets. Look at the shit. The, you see that, like, the you know, that nice, soft, like, plushy, like, plush, material? Plush, plush. This is actual sheets for your bed. Like, I, I'm not kidding you. Look, look, look. Plush. Sheet set. It is sheets. It is fluffy, soft sheets plushy, for plushy. your bed. How much did we pay for this? Like, $30, $40? Uh, $40. Yeah, $40 for nice, soft, plush, like, flannel so almost. Those fucking ones were not soft at all. And they were a hundred dollars. But I think it'll be really, like this blanket right here. This is an UGG. This is from the company UGG. This is an UGG blanket. This one's Brookstone. But I think. <laughs> Are you okay, dear? I love you. Oh my god! You get euphoric with this kratom shit too, and CBD makes you euphoric. You too. threw me a yoo-hoo. I gave my mom, my wonderful baby doll a fucking yoo-hoo. Yeah, you I'm driving with it, folks. <laughs> You're feeling good. Oh, I love this shit. Man. You like kratom? Oh, this is fucking incredible shit. It feels, <laughs> it feels like weed and fucking robo tripping up the asshole at the same time. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Oh, this is fantastic. 
Who the fuck needs alcohol? What a piece of shit to drink. 